Oh, hey, welcome back, everybody. We're going to be in this third part. We're going to be showing how to change out the colors. If you saw videos one and two, I talked about uh, number one, making a video very, very quickly. And, and depending on where you're putting it, deciding if you're going to do any colorization or anything like that. Right. So and then I also talked about how we can shorten a video up, put it to so we can have it and put it on, uh, let's say, LinkedIn, who doesn't like. Uh, anything over 10 minutes okay so uh, and then have a call out so I'll go ahead and show you that real quick that's the call out right here just a little bit of something extra you can actually put something at the end of this if you want to go to Canva or snap or something like that and put a card that says hey you know here's where you can find us uh, all kind of cool stuff that you can do you can put in bitly links here if you've got a particular product that you want to uh, send people to or page that all is good stuff that you can do. In this particular case, there are some strategic reasons why, um, you know, I'm choosing to do it this way. But as I looked at the video, I saw that the video had some colorization, had some color problems, and it's like, eh, you know, that looks kind of dark at the beginning. Uh, I think the camera had to, a little bit of a time to adjust, depending on if you're using a standalone camera or if you're using, uh, you know, a Logitech camera or the camera from your actual laptop or computer. It may give you some color differences, but you can um, still, you know, do some really good work. You can do something here that's going to change it out for you. Let me show you something that um, that you can do really, really quickly if you want to modify the color. Right. So let's go up here to modify. And this is in Camtasia. I'm using Camtasia right now to actually do some of the edits. Now, as you notice, this is being recorded on Screencast-O-Matic. Um, sometimes I use a free version. I actually have the paid version, but sometimes it just doesn't you know work right so you got to do some different things so one of the first thing you want to do is let me go ahead and adjust this a little bit all right uh, make sure you click on that make sure that's highlighted all right at the beginning part make sure that's highlighted so that you know you're going to be working with the actual um, video all right now now go to modify and then you want to add an effect what kind of effect well I want to add a visual effect Go ahead and scroll over to that. Go into color adjustments and watch what happens. Something weird happens. It gives you this, oh my gosh, this is, what is this, a black and white? No, it's not a black and white. So you want to do some things different here, right? So you want to adjust your contrast adjust or your brightness, adjust your contrast, and adjust your saturation. Okay, so we go ahead and bring that down. Let's not do that one first. Let's do um, contrast first. All right, watch this. All right, you can change different things there. What about saturation? Yeah, I don't want it at 100. You see how I'm starting to get some color now? <laughs> That's right. Get some color. But then you say, wait a minute, what happened to my background? Well, let's go ahead and bring a little bit of that back in. Okay, so you can do some interesting things there. All right, you can bring this down and start giving yourself a little better look let's go ahead and let's see if i can bring this down all the way oh that's too dark right all right you see now it's looking more natural looking more natural but i got some color that's about about 50 saturation is at about look at that you see how it's bringing that color back in let's go ahead and bring that to about i don't know maybe 20 something and this is something i'm going to show you guys when you're using these you know you may have a tendency to use your mouse but with trying to get maybe to 19 you might want to use the left and right arrows so you can get those minute numbers in there you see what i just did there okay so now that's that's some pretty good color i got okay i can see everything that's pretty good let's see what about my saturation do i want to adjust that down all right i don't want to go too dark but at least it starts bright brightening yourself up and you can contrast and bring in these colors the way you want to. See that? All right. How about there? That might be okay. All right. Now you're good. Now go ahead and because you've got it the way you want it, you now and adjust this. I'm telling you, play with this stuff because different things are going to provide different looks, right? As you notice, the video was a little bit darker in the beginning, and then it started getting a little, uh, a little lighter as the color adjusted and um, more light came in from the background. So that adjusts things out. Just know that you have a chance to do some really cool stuff in 
what they say post-production but in this particular case we're just using some free tools and we're using some tools that um, that are paid uh, to do some of your video edits it still allows you to do a video edit very very quickly now I've done already three videos in no time and I've done three different things I've shown you how to put in the transition right if you want to transition people to something right here look at that right that's got good color good color reasonable color reasonable color good color all right uh oh that's not oh I'm, I'm like what happened to the what happened to it oh I'm erasing it <laughs> that's what happened to it all right so you know things like that right you you just have a chance to do some really cool stuff that you might want to as you're building out your videos that's all I'm trying to say here and it shouldn't be too difficult for you see I got a clean board okay I still still got color here just got color here look what's happening yep all right that's not terrible it's not terrible okay what's going on here all right so you see the colors in there yep yep all right kind of fading out aren't they Kind of wiping that's good that's good i wanted to wipe and get rid of stuff all right but that is at least you have a chance to see that your colors are really really good and um again you can play with this okay go ahead see, just press that again and see where i'm at see if something has changed in the saturation levels it looks like it's doing a little something here let's see brightness yep i want it bright enough for that Make, make it seem like it has a lot of light in the background. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and do something like this. Right, all right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And you see, so now you just have a good chance, again, to really do some cool stuff. However, it works for you. Let's see if I can change it just a little bit. Let's see, maybe 23. Let's see if I can move this to if I move this to you see it look at that look at that if you're up at 70 it's really bright 55 it's not so bright so I might want to bright enough where it looks like hey I got good lighting <laughs> right and what about contrast okay but you see what's happening contrast this is gonna be the stuff that you're gonna you know toy around with but you can get it done really quick and it, it, it works out really good for you let's see what's going on here I got something that program was telling me it's weird happening. I don't know what just happened there. But that's it guys. That is how you adjust some stuff out. Um, doing it in post production if you will so that um, you have a little bit different look that maybe you're highlighted. It almost looks like you have done a green screen, right? See how that comes out? But that's all stuff that you can do on some of these um, free programs and some of the paid programs, right? I use a free program like Screencast-O-Matic. You can do some stuff. They just put their logo on it. You might notice the logo here. I actually have the paid program of this, but it wasn't acting uh, the way I wanted it to today. But it at least allows you to see in this part three how you change the color. Okay. All right. Hey, hopefully that helped you a little bit. If you're seeing this on YouTube, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're on LinkedIn, send me a DM if you want me to you know, walk you through some of this stuff and we'll get going on that. Okay. All right. Hey, have a good time and enjoy the rest of your day.